All right, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch, welcome back to the Bodybuilding News Network. Just after the Texas Pro finishing up last night, uh, we did have a good evening watching it. It was very entertaining. It ended exactly the way I thought it was going to end. I hope you enjoy the footage on the screen. At the end of the video, we do have a very, very good comparison. Actually, it starts around the one minute mark. We're going to go through every shot side by side. Hunter Labrada versus Andrew Jacked from this last Texas Pro. And then we're going to talk about potentially, potentially the likelihood of who's going to place above who at the Olympia. They're both qualified for the 2023 Olympia. Hunter qualifying at the Tampa Pro and Andrew Jacked clearly qualifying at this most recent Texas Pro. So I do hope you enjoy the footage here. Just finished up my last meal of the evening. So hopefully you guys are getting your protein in as well. But let's go ahead and start off with these side-by-sides. We're going to... Uh, I actually had a lot of fun doing this, so I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, looking at the front double bicep this is hands down andrew shot from the waist up there's no competition there's no conversation at all when you look at this from the lower half there could be a little bit of a conversation here andrew does have a lot of detail he has a great set of legs i cannot uh, lie about that i cannot uh, take anything away from hunter labrada's uh, uh, lower you know lower section the, the quads the striations, the separation in the quads into the tear ducts. They both, uh, both of the legs look phenomenal. Andrews looks great as well. And, you know, it's already, we've already had the conversation of who won this show. So it's not very difficult for us to just go through and just appreciate the physiques. Again, from the front lat spread, uh, Hunter having some difficulty flexing that torn pec. Uh, and then also the same side, that torn bicep kind of looking a little funny as well. Whereas you look at Andrew Jack, it's a complete perfect Mona Lisa sculpted from granite physique. Clearly, uh, in my opinion, was the, the winner coming out of prejudging. And then the finals pretty much essentially confirmed my thoughts on who was going to be winning this show. And I thought that it was a pretty cool, the uh, timing on these two guys doing their individual posing routines. It seems that everyone kind of has the same thing, the same amount of time they spend between each shot, how long it takes them to get into a shot. Very, very similar. And I thought that that was a very cool thing that I noticed during these shots. Side chest, I want to actually give this shot to Hunter on the lower body. The hamstrings and the glute looks phenomenal, a lot better than what Andrew's doing. I'd like to see Andrew sit into his shot more, but from the upper body, just the, the full chest, the arms, the tan, the conditioning, it's just a very hard, uh, it's a very hard shot to not give to Andrew. Now, I will apologize here. I know Hunter does hop into a traditional tricep shot after this but Andrew didn't really spend a lot of time in it so I'm kind of giving this one a wash in my pre-judging side-by-side -side comparison I did give it to Andrew again I do want to give it to Andrew the conditioning and the, the striations and the separation in the quads the shredded midsection two perfectly full and untorn pecs great round delts and a phenomenal uh, dual head of that tricep is just great. The way it flows is just phenomenal. I think I'm gonna make a t-shirt called phenomenal. I don't know. I, uh, I say phenomenal a lot. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that made. The back double bicep is the one show or the one shot that a lot of people give to Hunter. And I almost would say yes, except for how amazing Andrew is in the upper body. Hunter, uh, you know, he, he kind of won the lower body on the side shots, and he's kind of winning the lower body on these back shots as well. But Andrew's upper body is just so big and full and crispy. The, uh, the conditioning all the way into the lower uh, spinal erectors by the posing trunks, and almost Christmas tree action when he does uh, hit it right. Yeah, really can't, you can't not give the guy the shot. It's just so perfect. And he didn't really hit it very well as you can see here he's kind of got to move around a little bit i really had to give him the perfect timing uh to really get the shot but 
look at those uh, look at that upper back it's kind of reminiscent of um, blessing a wodabu has a very phenomenal upper back like that with the uh, the high upper traps the development and then the traps coming into the neck again just crazy look uh, almost kind of like Phil Heath-esque if you want to think about where Andrew Jack could be placing in the, in the next couple of years. He's got a lot of good competition to beat out in the next few years to get into that conversation of a top three or even winning an Olympia. But I definitely do think that it is something uh, possible that he could uh, he could achieve. Hunter Labrada quickly hopping into the ab and thigh. He was having some midsection, midsection issues if you didn't watch some of the footage. So you can see that. Um, but I did, uh, I did capture the one second he was smiling. Uh, Andrew Jack not scared at all of doing an ab and thigh. It is his signature shot along with the... Um, not the most muscular or the uh, front relaxed, but just kind of like a shot where he's just kind of standing there relaxed right before he hops into poses is crazy looking. So honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I did not think it was that close of a show. If they would have given it to Hunter, it would have been an absolute uh, travesty. It would have been an absolute robbery. So I'm happy that no politics played it uh, played out in this show clearly the labrada checking book was, or the checkbook was a little light at this show so they might need to pull out some extra finances to improve hunter's placings at the olympia i'm mostly joking but that is my recap of the open olympia or the open texas pro uh, we will probably dig into a few more physiques as we didn't really talk about carlos thomas jr at all more comparison and side by sides coming out today in the near future if not you can always look forward to seeing the another episode of bodybuilding daily where we post about all things hot topic and trending in the world of bodybuilding and fitness 3 p.m pacific standard time like i said daily i'm your host josh sanch as always thank you for watching consider subscribing if you made it this far and enjoyed this style of content share the video with a like-minded individual and i'll see you in the next one